Jurgen Klopp, arguably the most successful manager in the world, he has transformed Liverpool FC from an underperforming team into a near unbeatable one, winning numerous titles and competitions. So, what's the secret to Klopp's success? Klopp is a master envisioning influencer. Envisioning involves questioning the assumption that things can't change, creating a new vision for what could be, and giving people the vocabulary to describe said vision. The success or failure of envisioning depends on the ability to create a dedicated and committed community who will implement this new vision. When Klopp took over Liverpool in 2015, he outlined his vision for the club and promised results. I, I know when I sit here in four years, I think we won one title in this time. I, I'm pretty sure. Klopp introduced Liverpool to heavy metal football, a term he coined himself, which is in your face, rapid and aggressive, relying on a high pressing tactic he calls Gegenpress. Equally important to Klopp's envisioning was inspiring his players to believe that his vision could be achieved. Positive, empathetic and sociable, Klopp's father-like treatment of his players has shaped the Liverpool team into a near familial unit who work tirelessly towards achieving his vision. Through such actions, Klopp has mastered the envisioning strategy and has raised Liverpool to heights few would have thought possible. So, how does Klopp do it? Well, there are four cognitive steering biases, which can be thought of as levers that he has learned to pull to envision successfully. He has a high trust of self, a confidence resulting from his significant managerial experience, as well as a high trust of others, placing faith in those around him. He is high self-disclosing, which creates trust and intimacy, Finally, he is high-seeking change, always looking forwards rather than backwards. When put together, these four bias positions result in the envisioning strategy that has been behind so much of Jurgen Klopp's success. It's important to understand that these cognitive steering biases aren't just in Klopp's head. The pulling of these levers are intentional actions that create a specific and effective social-emotional road that those around him can follow. In creating this road, he steers his team's responses, giving him the world-class performance he requires. Jurgen Klopp demonstrates how successful you can be if you know how to use the right influencing strategy for the right purpose at the right time. So. When is the envisioning strategy most effective in the workplace? A few examples include At the early stage of a project to generate direction, ideas and possibilities. When you first form a team to create buy-in, passion and belief. Or in a change or die situation where a project requires radical reform to survive. Keep an eye out for our next Eustay video where we'll be pulling back the covers to reveal the secrets of another world-leading influencer. Eustir, data-driven development.